Easter, a time to be happy and celebrate. At Luna Park here in Nairobi, families took time to be around their loved ones and just enjoy their special outing. But like has been tradition, many thronged various places of worship all across the country in remembrance of the resurrection of Jesus Christ. From the young, enjoying the flow of the festive spirit, to the old, being a time to reflect and give thanks. We should die to self and rise to love of service. Uh, the self-centeredness that is man's problem is catered for by Christ's self-giving. But even with the solemnity of the day, the topic of the recent notable increase in the number of tribal groupings did not evade the talks in churches. There is not a single community that can be can say that well it is uh, self-sustaining um, uh, uh, and whatnot. We need we need the communities need one another. Uh, because you may have this, but you may not have also that other thing. A sentiment shared by Archbishop Wabukala of the Anglican Church. I would uh, urge and uh, ask all of us that we do not uh, encourage groupings at this time, whether they are, whether be they tribal or any other gangs uh, that come in because of elections. Elsewhere, it was all smiles and jubilation as students and parents of Gatoto Community Primary School in Mukurukayaba received foodstuffs from local artists. We also come here as Kenya One, artists coming together to preach peace. Tunasema Amani ni mas. Amani ni mas. They urged all Kenyans to help the less fortunate during this festive season and maintain that unity and love among all Kenyans will see the country move forward. Also in attendance were artists such as Size 8, Mustafa, Kenzo, Myra, Daddy Owen and Frasha who also called on all Kenyans to support and love one another. While conducting the Easter service in St. Peter's Square in Rome, Pope Benedict XVI, who looked frail and tired, delivered his speech to the city and the world, calling for peace in Syria, urging new Israeli-Palestinian talks, and denouncing savage terrorist attacks against Christians in Nigeria. For Sunday Live, I'm Violet Otindo.